they are showing you before it takes place guys today's video we're going to explain the full breakdown or the game plan of what's really upcoming actually it's already happening check this out russia the entire banking system is at a standstill nationwide this happened literally yesterday guys right just basically recently listen to this guys this is very important why their entire banking system was at a standstill everything was halted so it seems like nationwide okay this ties in with russia because the isp used for banking communication with the russian central bank is down um, Infotel, the ISP, is expected to have been hacked by a pro-Ukraine group. Esper Bank's online services also down. Interesting, guys, right? Now, they tell you before it takes place, guys. Infotel has now been down for 19 hours and counting. It's 9 a.m. in Moscow, so I'm guessing by now it should be up, guys. I'm guessing, I don't know. Cyber... Um, this The group posted Infotel's full internal client list. One, 100 out of 400 are banks the rest are credit institutions car dealers and of course the russian central bank the group says the entire infrastructure has been destroyed this is so crazy but what's the game plan here okay this is what it is infotel or infotel released a message on their site some of their equipment was physically fried as a result of a what here you guys go of a of the cyber attack right here guys where is it right there right of, of course it was a cyber attack so Schwab wasn't lying when he said this will be the most catastrophic crisis out there, even worse than the 2020 thing. Why? Because when a cyber attack occurs, guys, right, the biggest one out of them all, when the virus is running loose, as Mr. Poole did state, that's when everything will literally be at a standstill. Everything will be halted, literally frozen in time, right? Meaning you can't do anything, guys, right? Your money's frozen, assets, everything. This is why you have to be in before it occurs. If you're not in, you're out, right? This is why I'm invested into XRP and uh, cryptocurrencies in general before all these events take place, guys. Now, quote, Dear partners, we would like to inform you that as a result of a massive cyber, uh, hacker attack on the network of the Infotel JSC, some of the, ne some of the network equipment was damaged. At the moment, repair work is being carried out. We will inform you when the work is complete. We hope for, uh, for your understanding and further cooperation, as you guys can see right there. So I'm not, I'm not sure if they're up and not. Um, now it seems like it's showing a pulse after some time and it's going back up. So, interesting guys, check this out. What's the impact on the Russian citizens? Customers, uh, customer facing systems saw some disruptions, right? Now imagine an attack um, globally. What will that do, right? A virus running loose. Literally, Mr. Poole told us that there's going to be a virus, uh, something that they'll run loose, guys, right? Internally, I think. So, which which is which is connected to the system, right? To the computers and whatnot. So let's prepare. Now we literally just cracked the code, guys. I was just thinking, why did they specifically state that Russia has been hacked by a pro-Ukraine group, right? Because the narrative it will be so clear to when America goes down uh, by the cyber attack, it will be by they will blame it either by or on Russia or China or some or a country that opposes that goes against America, and they're going to be that. Whoever it may be, they're going to be blamed for it, right, for that narrative. It's so clear. How don't people see? What? Now, from Watch Guru, Justin, while that happened, a day before this took place, Russia's largest bank, Esper Bank, to offer crypto trading services. Now, do you guys see the game plan? Now, do you guys see what's really happening, guys? Right? So, they brought upon a cyber attack, and now this crypto narrative is exploding in real time, right? Because the bank, the largest bank in Russia, is set to offer crypto uh, crypto trading services to its customers, right? Moreover, the announcement states that the bank's customers will gain access to digital asset services starting in June. Specifically, the bank is now set to allow investors to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. It's time, it's time, it's time. Hong Kong is good to go. Um, all these nations and crypto, uh, all these nations and countries are are having are throwing the green lights out there. For we the people to keep buying and buying buying cryptos guys meaning we're literally gonna pump until the collapse takes place when the collapse takes place you know what narrative they'll use the cyber attack narrative which will take down everything globally then they'll bring upon a new financial system as you guys can see literally right here they're telling you the game plan before it literally occurs don't people see what's really happening guys right come on things are looking really good guys because these banks are starting to introduce crypto services we, we told you literally a few videos ago that this is why ripple acquired medico right for institutional crypto custody, not to mention NASDAQ is coming with their own crypto services, um, crypto custody service program, guys, right? So 
all these things are happening and now the banks are being introduced as well because they want a piece of the pie not to mention this is literally why exchanges are imploding in real time right this is why i told you guys people still don't believe me guys but this is just my belief maybe that's why you guys don't believe me but it's just my belief i believe that binance will literally collapse at one point in time which will tie into tether and bitcoin guys right and they will go away forever bitcoin may come back up rise like the phoenix phoenix but once it's decimated now another one justin russia to use crypto exchanges to settle cross-border transactions right so russia narrative with crypto is accelerating even quicker guys right all of a sudden why it's because the events are accelerating quicker and quicker and quicker guys right until the climax takes place guys and look at this they, they spoke about a new payment system cryptocurrencies will be a part of this new payment system don't you see what's really happening mr pool stated that cryptocurrencies will be a few a few cryptos a few digital assets will be integrated into the new financial system literally russia literally told you that right now Right, Mr. Pool did a long time ago that cryptocurrencies will put will be a part of this new payment system, right? But one day it will be a, it will be integrated into the global financial system, guys. But only when the collapse takes place. Do you really think the SEC can stop XRP? No, because tomorrow we're going to explain why. This was all part of the game plan. Additionally, the draft law and experimental legal regimes will be will include the regulations. So let's check this out, guys. Now, when we talk about Russia, what does it? What do they tie in with? The Russian finance minister says BRICS nations are considering plans to incorporate uh, digital financial assets underpinned by tangible assets into their financial system. Wait a minute, what? With gold-backed stablecoins as prime examples, gold will play a major role in the monetary reset. This has been in the works for many years, not even years, guys, many decades. No, actually longer, maybe centuries, no longer, thousands of years. This was the game plan from the beginning of time. When we talk about how gold will be introduced back into the new financial system, gold backed stable coins, right? Not to mention they added cryptocurrencies will be included as well in their new payment system. Who told you guys a long time ago? The Riddler said gold is back with his new friend, the standard of the new economy, right? Gold is back. There's there's one piece, there's one final piece missing to the whole puzzle to complete it all, like the bricks, right? Um, it's that XRP is missing. So when they introduce XRP, then it's fully 100% completed. But this is only when the system collapses. Then they'll introduce XRP, guys, right? Not beforehand. Look at this. Look at the timeline. The timeline is so clear. XRP is at the finale, guys, right? So this is so crazy, guys. XRP is true liquidity, right? A lot of liquidity issues are taking place as we speak as well. Now, I finally found it from Baba Cugs. After four years of searching, if you have never seen this video, sit down, kid. You haven't been here as long as as long as us this is crazy guys check this out wow the role of gold and silver and how it can be associated with uh, um, distributed ledger technology it, it's something that we have not uh, explored but certainly we are very very um, uh, keen to explore distributed ledger technology for all sorts of purposes particularly in the fintech world a lot of gold and silver talk they have already been exploring this guys right but now they're starting to say it and 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 obviously this was four years ago so things obviously sped up at that point in time till now so it's clear guys dlt is coming back into play gold silver right these precious metals which we have stated years ago um but then it will tie into this suite okay the game the timeline they told you a long time ago gold will come back with these presidents um being friends right handshaking as you guys can see peace is brought upon the world as well BRICS is coming to play. America's torn apart, but then Donald Trump saves the day. Okay, so and now you say XRP is still not truly the one because of Bitcoin's rise, of, because of of Bitcoin rise of Phoenix XRP standard economy, Brexit gold and energy standard XRP standard economy, which is the Phoenix X from Elon Musk. They tell you before it occurs, guys. That's all I'm going to say. Many say, well, we'll replace the United States dollar as the world reserve currency. All of, uh, all of the other currencies are just as bad. Central bankers expect gold to grow in the primary reserve assets, as you guys can see right here. A majority of gold or global central banks now expect gold to grow as a reserve asset while views on the United States, on the United States dollar, uh, dollar turn dimmer, guys, right? 
Again, a lot of gold talk recently. And we told you guys a long time ago that precious metals will be coming back into play. Iraq Central Bank boosted its gold reserves by 2% in a single day last week. 2% increase in a singular day, guys. The times are changing. Exactly, right? People think we're joking, but they're literally pointing towards a new financial system. Not to mention, Judy Shelton stated, The future world will probably be gold will come, in, gold will come back into the play, but in a futuristic type of way. Right, going back to the future, which means cryptocurrencies will coming will be coming back into or will be, will be coming into play. Right, another OG BRICS member looking to trade in XRP for the banks. Brazil's president uh, says he dreams of trading currency other than the United States dollar. Right, wow, this is a crazy um infographic or picture right here, guys. Um, excellent for the people and an SGB to back the CBDCs. Right. Who knows? But as you guys can see, basically what's really happening is a new system is imminent. A new financial system. Right? A repeating system. Russians FM meets with a Saudi delegation at BRICS meeting in South Africa. It's speeding up, guys. Right? The talks and everything. The meetings are speeding up. The new financial system is brewing like never before. And then finally, facts. United States national debt is $32 trillion. United States loss in Ukraine is $150 billion. Russia national debt is $426 billion. Compared to America's crazy, right? Russia gains in Ukraine is $12 trillion. Whoa. What? United States total debt, debt is $96 trillion, guys. You are bankrupt. Uh, Senator Blinken sat down. This is the craziest thing, guys. Wow. National resources valued by country Russia. So it's a tight shifting, right? Which means we're heading into a um a level playing field. Hmm. Very fascinating indeed, guys, right? As a global economic power. Today's Russia's uh economy is a shadow of what it was and a fraction of what it could have become had Putin invested in technology and innovation rather than what well, weapons and war. But these are all bank space wars at the end of the day, right? Not to mention, this this narrative right here is accelerating a new financial system. Literally everything has been, guys. Everything, every narrative that has been, even the aliens, every narrative that has been out there is to accelerate one system. It's the financial system to collapse and bring upon a new financial system, guys. Not financial business, be prepared. But at the end of the day, we'll be heading towards a level playing field where XRP will be the heart of it all. And it will reign supreme one point in time, guys. Well, that is just my belief. Not financial advice. Not financial advice and not financial advice. But it was so amazing. See you.